light skin girl Osama You know she the bomb, she cause trauma Hey guys, welcome to my shower routine. Let's just ignore all the random faces I was making in this video. I didn't even realize that that's what was going on, but hey, here we are. So just getting right into it, I begin by rinsing my whole body and face, and then I go in with a cleanser. My daily cleanser of choice is usually this CeraVe foaming cleanser. It's gentle, but still gets my face feeling squeaky clean. Whenever I have eyelash extensions on, I also go in with a face towel to clean around my face and eyes just to make sure all the product washes off. Moving on, I use this African net cloth to wash my body. I first go in with my Kapaya soap from Skincare ZM to cleanse all over. You guys, I'm such a Kapaya stan. At first, I used to use it just for my face, but now I actually prefer it more as a body wash. Literally chef's kiss. After that, I go in with this vitamin C body wash from Notorium because I tend to get body acne which sometimes leaves dark spots so yeah, I use it mainly on my problem areas. I then go in with a body scrub. This Dove one is probably the most gentle yet effective body scrub I've used thus far. I love it.
When I'm feeling extra, I finish off my shower with this shower mousse, which also doubles as shaving cream actually. It's just that extra step to make you feel all plush and smooth. <laughs> Once I'm done, I pat myself dry. I do use the same towel on my face as on my body, but on my face, I just dry the dripping bits like my chin, upper lip, and eyebrows. Otherwise, I let the rest of my face just air dry, so you know, I'm not really contaminating it. <laughs> First thing I do once I'm out of the shower is moisturize my lips. Having crusty lips literally irks me, okay? <laughs> then if I feel the need to, I clean my ears, then I follow up by brushing out my lashes. Take a sip, you gon' trip. I'm like a cup of shroom tea in the morning. Cold your throat like hot honey. Moving on to skincare, I go in with my niacinamide from The Ordinary. It's good for controlling the amount of oil on your skin as well as helping with hyperpigmentation and texture. You taste like maybe. I then follow up with a moisturizer. I've recently started using this one from CeraVe. It says it's for dry to very dry skin, but I'm an oily skin girly who absolutely loves it. Honestly, even though I just started using it. In your cup, sleep slow, slow your road. Your eyes, they tickled a piece of my soul. You made me go, made me go. Last step is always SPF. I really like this one by Bondi Sands because it doesn't leave a white cast. Next, I spray on some deodorant, then move on to lotioning my body. 
I recently bought this body butter just to try it out and it's safe to say I love it. It's so moisturizing and the scent isn't overpowering. I then go in with my Vaseline oil just on my legs to make them glow and also because they tend to get ashy quicker than the rest of the body. I don't know why that is, but mm. Final step is to spray on a yummy scent. I love this one from Bath & Body Works. It's such a sweet and sultry scent. I literally forgot to record after this, but I just put on a robe while I picked out my clothes and got ready to head out. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to thumbs it up, share it with somebody, and of course subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!